Should we uh, do some show feedback? I'm sorry that I'm trying to unite the world through stuffed animals and you're well, just poo-pooing it. Well, your kids are. You're not. Yeah, yeah, that's true. They're better than I am. <laughs> uh, Game Girl Pocket has to say, if the next episode isn't called Contractually Obligated, I will be disappointed. Prepare to be disappointed. Probably. Probably. We'll think of something better. Great. Nothing personal. Right. Go and on. this is... This is long, but I thought it was a, a decent comment from Mr. Logical regarding the Stadia. Your discussion of Stadia was too funny. You guys often come up with convoluted reasons to explain the obvious. They made bad decisions. This wasn't some Brewster's Millions, the producer scenario, where they're going to get more money for making a bad product. You guys, you, uh, you, you were saying Phil Harrison is involved with this. He would have to, He would have to know these ideas are bad. Guys, the last two console launches Harrison worked on were the PS3 and the Xbox One. Dude launched one console at five ninety nine and took a, and took Rumble out of controllers, saying people don't like Rumble, and then launched the next console with mandatory Connect, a mandatory internet connection, and no used games. <laughs> it's not shocking that he is involved with another suck ass console launch. Maybe this dude and the Stadia team just have some bad ideas. They definitely have bad ideas. They cannot argue with that. Um, I don't, maybe uh, Phil wasn't the decision maker on those other things. Who knows? Maybe. It could be a coincidence. It is a weird coincidence that I, I completely, honestly, I forgot about. Not that I was the one hiring him. So, right. you know. I like to give a tall, a tall, bald, white guy the benefit of the doubt. Whenever <laughs> possible. That's what's interesting because I usually don't. Right. I, I, I think... Yeah, he probably was just along for the ride on some of these decisions. Yeah. But right? three times in a row is pretty funny. It's not, yeah. yeah. No, no, it, it's it's hilarious. Right. <laughs> but, okay, just making sure that we all are, all, that's really all I want to do is I want to make sure we all agree that this like, guy He's is, never made the same mistake twice, though. Like, he, these are three very bad ideas. I don't know, because didn't the <laughs> Xbox One also launch at, at like, at basically like a hundred dollars more than it should have. Yes. Yeah. Well, but that's because it had the connect in it, though. Yeah, but the, and it was it still is, it was it five is still hun- making the same. It was five hundred, right? Yeah. yeah. When it launched. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's that's in the that's expensive, but it's in the the realm. Nah, that pretty much lost it for him. Well, because they had the camera. Right. Because he didn't have a choice. Like, if if it was his choice or not to put the mandatory connect in, yes, that's on him. But if he was told this thing is coming with a mandatory connect. He didn't have much of a choice but to go five hundred dollars with it. Right, they're still using those things in like airports and in commercial situations. Oh where, yeah, where they need uh, scanners and shit. Well, th- the tech in it is good tech. Yeah, I have my connect somewhere <laughs> in the house. Just solve the problem that nobody had. <laughs> well, you know, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. If they had just not done a camera and done a microphone and had a uh, and you know an echo type device instead. It would have been a little more successful and cheaper. Oh, well. Yep. Live and learn, right? Woulda, coulda. Didn't. (sighs) I think they did all right anyways. Did they? Yeah. Yeah, I I think they did okay. I think they did good enough, for sure. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) 